It's Friday. And I'm liking this thing. I really am. I'm liking this thing. I'm getting motivated. Uh, I'm motivated because it's coming together quite nice. You know what I mean? It's coming together quite nice. I'm getting to cut all the rust off it. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting to cut all the rust off it. It's uh, making me happy that it's not sitting over there becoming nothing, rotting away. I've decided my, to do what my brain is telling me to do, and it's to put this thing together and try to get it on top of that murk because I haven't been doing anything with the murk out there. This is playing for me, and I'm glad that people say, well, why doesn't he finish anything? Because I'm playing, and that's what I like to do, and I finish all kinds of things, believe me. I finish all kinds of things, but right now I want to do what I want to do, and if it bothers you, keep watching. <laughs> keep watching uh, so what's good? it is what it is man I'm having fun doing what I'm doing so um, I got a smile on I'm happy so what has happened here now uh, now I've got the, the the car cut in half and put back together and I just straightened that post out with the door we, we put a skin on the other day I wish I would have slowed down a little bit I wish I would have slowed down the other a little bit and just rolled a piece through and then I would have had a, a smaller roll. But we got the, the roof put on nice. It went down nice. It's nice and tight and right. I probably will put cross members in the roof after a bit. Um, I probably will do that. It's a, it needs to come up a little bit, but it's got good metal there. I can hit it with a hammer or do anything I want with it. Uh, what I was deciding on, on the roof as I'm looking at it, and I was thinking I might put a bow or two in it. When I put the bow in it, I'll put the jack in the middle of the in the middle of the car I'll bend a piece of round rod that fits that and then I'll put put a piece of wood on the jack and I'll jack it up to get the exact where I want it and then I'll nail that square tubing down I'll weld it on either side and then I should be fine but other than that it's awesome uh, I put a quarter panel on it right after that because I was I'm having fun I'm happy I didn't want to stop so that's what I did I put a I made a quarter panel for it right after that and what I did I'm going to show you on the other side uh, that's not what I do here. I'll show you exactly what I do at all times. So what I did is I made this side, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to make the other side. But basically, what I'm doing here, if you can picture it, I am making brand new... I cut the quarter panel off. You'll see on the other side. I'm making brand new square tubing all the way along the bottom here. That is where I'm going to cut it off. So that's the... That's, I'm going to cut this all off. Doors are going to be cut open. Doors are not locked shut or welded shut or anything. They're just square tubing in front there and square tubing in there I can cut that out at any time cut that square tubing out at any time that door will open haven't got it welded there I'm, I just want that square tubing there so when I set it down on the Merc or I, like me and Jolene were talking once I got the square tubing all the way around the car I got this side then I get all the way around the back and I get around the other side I'm going to cut whatever's off the firewall here, what's no good. I'm going to cut it off, and I'll cap it, and I'll put a piece of square tubing across the front, gather that up. We'll run a, a sill around the whole bottom of it. We'll put it on jack stands here and maybe up front, and then we'll cut all the bottom off. We'll take a reciprocator saw or whatever. We'll cut the finish cutting the bottom of the doors off, cut the bottom of the cowl off, cut all around the back off. And then what we'll do is we'll set it down on the floor, and we're going to take a, take a marker and trace that, that footprint of this car. We're going to trace that footprint all the way around when we set it on the floor. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the cardboard that the cardboard guy gave us. Thank you very much. I've been using that stuff just like, it's like candy, just using it. It's good. I love it. Um, I think I'd even buy myself some now that I know that, you know, it's just nicer to go there and pick it up and use it. But anyways, as I put the footprint down, then we can make it out of cardboard paper or whatever. When we cut the roof off the Merc, when we cut the roof off the Merc, then me and Jolene can lay that pattern on top of the Merc and place the cab wherever we think it fits. Basically what's going to happen. Um, we're going to make it fit wherever it fits. This square tubing will be nice to stop it from going down inside the car. I'm thinking that it's good. We'll catch up on that. It would be nice to catch up on that. And we can, it's got nice, something nice to weld to. It makes this quarter panel tight. That's just a flat piece of metal. I put a, an edge in it there and rolled it around there. Come to the back. It made that nice and tight. It makes everything tight right to the bottom. Um, with the roof all welded and coming back together here, that went together really nice. I sliced it in there and banged that down and, and made it come to that. It worked out really nice. I was happy with that. So on the other side, we come on the other side, we got a piece of square tubing there for the bottom on the other side. 
So on the other side, this side wasn't so favorable. This piece I cut out and there was a bunch of lead in there and there's still lead up in there that I did not finish getting out yet. There was some lead up in there. I managed to melt it out with a welder and welded that piece on. Now we've got the door running good on this side. We've got our little piece going to our door there, which is good, but we have no quarter panel and we have to put the square tubing on the bottom to run along here to get that footprint that we want. And basically what I did on the other side is I measured down 14 inches from this and marked it, marked 14 inches, 14 inches down on the door, 14 inches down, marked it. And that's where I put the square tubing on, but at first I have to put the quarter panel on. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right at the present moment. I'm gonna put the quarter panel on. And what I'm gonna do is when I do that, I'm just gonna take measurements off this side. I did this side wherever, whatever I want it to. I did, did whatever I wanted to on this side. So we'll go on this side and do the exact same thing. It's about two and three quarter. If I had a marker that worked, it would be nice. Two and three quarter. And I'm gonna do exactly what I did on the other side, is I'm gonna eye it up. I'm gonna eye it up all the way across the back here, make it look nice as possible. Let's do it, I'm gonna put it on. But right now, at the present moment, like this stuff has to be done. I have to make a sill all the way around this thing to find the footprint. I got smart last night when I banged the piece of metal on the floor and I got it the shape I wanted, I marked it on the floor. So now I know what, when I get my square tube and I'll show you how I made that. And that's basic, basic stuff. I'm just bending square tubing, but I'm using a piece of wood and a little bit of ingenuity. You know, um, if you think that you need certain tools to make things, <laughs> you do not. Um, I had the, the workstation over there with the, with the roller over there. And uh, for me to go over there and get the jack and move that out and pull that out to get that set up so I could get a little roll in it, like get this little roll here. I just moved along, bang, 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 hit it on the floor, uh, pretended that I was strong and bent a few pieces. I am sore from tearing the car apart in certain places. <laughs> and it's because I'm using muscles that I never, I don't use all the time, but uh, Jolene laughed so hard watching me rip that car apart that her tears were coming out of her eyes, which made me happy. It did, baby, it made me happy. So right now I'm just gonna bend a, an, a lip on this. I know I'm gonna need a lip on this because I have to go inside to the door on this post A basic line to go with, I guess, to know where to weld the piece of metal on. Just for poops and giggles, I'm gonna make a piece on this here. Um, we want the nice side up, we got a sharp side, and we got a cut side. So the cut side's down, sharp side's up, because this is the side I wanna weld, I don't wanna clean the slag off that. So that means I gotta bend, bend this edge. Got to beat the slag off that. Got to do, got to do, got to do what you got to do sometimes. So that's where we're going. We're going to beat the slag off that. Also, I think I told you the other day how I figured out how far I want to to come up on that. Um, people sent some some pictures, some uh, Photoshop pictures of it. Really good job. Really good job. Um, what I did notice, some of them were down a little further on the body line. It didn't only show it about that much. I think from the body line, from the pictures I've seen, or the uh, I don't know, computer animated or whatever they are. But I'm, I'm gonna set this thing up higher. This thing's gonna be up higher. So this is gonna set on top, yeah, on top of the, on top of the doors. That's where that, this is what I'm guessing. This square tubing is gonna set on top of the doors and the front of it's gonna go up into the hood. Bum, bum, bum. Jolene woke up at seven and looks like a 10. Fixed it. Just like that, didn't it, baby? Huh? Fixed it. Fixed it. Got me coffee in bed. Took me for breakfast. I love you, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. 
someone does stuff like that for you, you really have to treat them good back because you, you have to because that's the way they treat you. You know what I'm trying to tell you? That's basically it. I'm going to put it in here, get myself a little break going on, and I'm just breaking the edge so I can jam it in there where the door is. I'm hoping that we can get a broke edge. A little bit long, but sometimes it's nice to have it long. Here we go. There's our broken edge. One thing, we, one thing we do know for sure, this is one thing I do know for sure, that that post is not straight, so you know what we have to do after, after this. So, the post, so that, the post is not straight, it goes like this. So, into the shrinker we go. Now I'm just shrinking that edge to make it come round like the door post. And that's basically it in a handbag. You know, just put it in there, shrink it a little bit. I didn't mind on the other side, I shrunk it quite, quite heavy. And I didn't mind that because when I took it out there, I could always push it back to where it was. And what I mean to put it back to where it was is I, is I could lay it on the ground and I could flatten it out very easy. That's what we have. And that has made that, that has made that stronger there because we've, we've put a 90 in it and now we've shrunken it. So that makes it strong there. Doesn't make it strong. It does not make it strong here though. <laughs> that makes it strong. All right, so that's what's going on there. Um, basically, you have to get all that metal, all that metal has to be under pressure. If you get something that goes, you know what I mean? You get that, get that flimsy thing going on, then you've got, then, then you've got issues. Then you've got issues. Shrinking is a, once you, once you make something oil canned, to shrink it and bring it back, um, sometimes, sometimes, I would, I would prefer just to cut it off and do it again. For the time that you would spend shrinking it and trying to fix it after you've oil canned it, you, sometimes it's better just to cut it off and try again. Uh, glasses. And there's nothing wrong with that. I do it all the time. And if, and if there was, I'd never build a car. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you wasn't allowed to do it again, you'd never build a car. <sighs> That's funny, isn't it? That's funny, Chad. What I'm going to do is cut more off this. The reason I'm cutting more off this, because you can see the distance right there. Now I've got more distance here. What I mean by distance is this distance from here out to the door. I've got more distance on my bend than that has. And basically, I'm just going to take it in some so I can stick this on. Stick it on. Come on. Ah! I bend a little more on the edge than I need it, and I'll tell you why. Because when you put something in a break and you just try to bend a little tiny bit, it does not work. You generally have to bend that, bend that half inch or three quarters of an inch to get it looking good. Alrighty, so I'm going to take that up there because I'm going to take it way up here. That's where it should be. That doesn't look bad. We can get a screw in there. What we'll do is we're going to put it there. I'm going to put a clamp on it, see if I can hold it there put a screw in it and do a couple things. Basically what I gotta do. Put the 
clamps together. Jolene helped me last night. That was nice. She helped me hold the pipe, hold or help the hold the square tubing. Help me hold that. She did. It's nice of her. Uh, I just have to get a. Ouch! That hurt my shin. That did. See a line right there. See a line? There. Now, can you hold that there, sexy? Yeah, just hold it right there. Hold it right there for a minute. All right. I don't want to dent that, but I can. Come down just a little bit. That's not bad. I'm gonna just go slow here. <laughs> just go slow, Jenny. Want her to fall off? I've got some self tappers. Where did I put them? Put them back there, did. It? It's come together quite nice, quite quickly. It's coming together quite quickly. And uh, it's fun to do. This is fun to do when you can grab something and weld on something. Like this is the most enjoyable thing that I, th I can think of doing, really, is cutting something up and having fun with it. A little bit of ambition, you know. I had to go out there and cut that car apart to get it. Yes, I did. I don't mind that. That's part of the job, you know. That's part of the job, as far as my eyes. And we're trying to get this sheet of metal to fit as nice as possible. Nice as possible. I'm gonna just jam it right, right here, I guess. Nope, I'm gonna take it up a little bit and make it make me feel better about the line here. That's what we're gonna do. And take that up, make me feel better about the line right there. Alrighty, that don't look like a bad line going around there. Not to me at all. Comes down here a little bit. Um, yeah, let's do it. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, that's fine. Get it up just a little bit further. And there's a reason behind that. Alrighty, now I have to measure down, measure down to see if I got my 14 inches because I'm putting square tubing on the bottom, right? 14 inches, there I go, I got enough. There's my 14 inches, square tubing is going underneath the 14 inches. All right. Perfect, perfect. All right. Um, this here. I'm going to do this here like this. I think I did it on the other side. Just putting it in there in the middle of the bend and drawing the line. That's basically all I'm doing. I'm going to bend that. Bend that. There we go. We're somewhere, somewhere. Take and draw this off. I'm going to do this. I'm drawing the line where this goes on. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Obviously, obviously. Alrighty. Let's take this off. That screw I put a little low, I should have put a little higher. And the reason being is I think I'll put another one. The reason being is because when I cut the metal off, I don't think that's going to hit the half inch I'm going to leave for the... Put 
another one. So I just up a little bit further. There we go. Pull that one out. And this most certainly is freedom, man. When you get to put a quarter panel on any way you want to, um, you get to cut it. I get to cut it off any any height I want to. And, and I really enjoy this sort of stuff because after I get all the bottom of it cut off, I get the bottom of the doors cut off, get them cut, get the new quarter panels put on it. Um, this it's really a quite a piece of tin. Like it's in really good shape. Like it's not it's not mint by no means. It never was mint or anything by no means. But when you go around it, when I'm done, this this vehicle will have. Some nice new tin on it and if I sandblast it it would look like a million bucks it really would alrighty I'm gonna bend this right now why not I'm gonna bend it right now now I am on the on the metal station and I'm just laying that line straight on that and I'm just gonna Bend it so ever so slightly. Hmm. And, and uh, I didn't really quite get the line, but we can go back and get it. And it's a nice slight bend, so we can bend it slightly back. You know, we didn't bend anything too too vicious. Put it on there and then we'll pull pull that back and that'll be a nice oh get a sharp little bend in there and just got a nice little round bend there not hurting it one bit just kind of playing with it all righty let's do this piece of tape I'm going to cut that off on that side. On, on Jim's car, on Jim's car, I cut, I cut the pieces off on the passenger side. I did. I cut them off where it was fairly decent. I cut them off, and then I just went over top. On this one, I'm going to go just a little step further, a step further. What I mean by a step further is... So I'm going to put this tape here. Just above that line if I can get it. See, see how I got the screw hole just above the tape? That's what I want it. Just above, just so I can get a little bit some there. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with the plasma cutter. I got that quite close there. I want that. I can go around that, can't I? Let's pull that down a little. I'm going to go on there with the plasma cutter on top of this green tape, and I'm going to leave that much of this quarter panel there. And then we'll show you why. I got a step bit here, and we'll step it back. I'm going to cut this off. Hard thing to do sometimes, get your motivation to clean up. I get quite a mess going, and uh, it takes motivation to get it cleaned up sometimes. But you just have to do it, you know. Ugh. I'm going down, sweetheart, stepping on them lights. What? Is it an old one? Good, because it feels like I stepped on it. Take this over here. We've got to get some air on. Yeah, this is going quite fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I could cut cars apart every day or every other day and make things. If I could make them as fast as I could think of them, just imagine how busy I'd be. You know, 
ideas are plentiful in my brain. <laughs> well, it's a good thing or a bad thing, but they are. We're going to take the ground and put it on the other side, I think. That way there we have something good to ground to. Or... Huh. Hoping that helps. Give me a bad, I'm going to try these bad boy glasses. I don't know if that'll help me not or, or not. Make me look cooler. <laughs> That's not true. I was always told if you had to try to look cool, you weren't. <laughs> right? Right? Just be yourself, man. Just be yourself. Just be yourself and be happy with it. Oh, look at that now, would you? Can't see the line with that. It's a little dark. Alrighty. reason I'm using the plasma cutter because it's a nice clean quarter panel. Well, I should say clean. I haven't got the stuff off on the inside here yet, but it's just a nice clean quarter panel to cut off. It was. That's why I did it. something there. Whew. Not so clean there. Come right behind you, sweetheart. Got a grinder right behind you. Gonna have to grab the zip cut anyways, I guess. What I like to do is just cut it in the middle of the high. That way there, I can bring it back together nice. If you know what, if you know what I'm saying, as this is rolled around here, I cut it in the middle of the high, of the middle of the roll, so I can roll a little bit of this one and roll a little bit of this one and bring it together. Then it doesn't make it so hard on me. If you come around and take a look at this one here, I got it cut off. I got a little bit of roll coming around here, so right in the center, more or less. Got a little bit of roll coming here, and then when I make my piece go across the back, I can match it up together, and I can butt weld them together and do a nice job. As I have this off here, gotta get that post off now. Just 
looks good though. Burn that stuff off. Got to get that off. Yeah, got to get this off. this post off. I gotta cut that off too, but no, I don't have to cut that off. But let's cut the post off. Whoop-de-doo. Trying to get some stuff out of the way so I can cut the post off. Yeah, just need another disc now. Can you pass me one? Is that possible? Ugh. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Gotta move that camera slowly to make everybody sick, eh? Go slow. That a girl. She got some shades on today, boy. She slicked right up. Hair all hanging down. Got the shades on. Man, she's looking good. She said there's a lot of stuff flying off the grinder disc lately that she wanted to protect herself, and I said, great idea. A lot of stuff. Ow! Somebody's got your back, he said. Yeah, that was quick. That was good. I like that. I'm happy about that. Happy about that. Happy about that. Crawling on my hands and knees. Alrighty, let's clean. I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit. And the plasma cutter does leave a little bit of slag. Yes, it does. It leaves a little bit. Um, but um, you, you cannot knock it. I mean, let's face it, you can't, it's pretty hard to get something cut as fast as that does. This is a tool that I get at, uh, you can get at Princess Auto. It's, just a, it's a cheap tool to buy, but it flanges the metal. It's got a flange on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step flange that to make that quarter panel feel a little bit stronger because let's face it I've just cut all its meat off now it's blah, 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 but it's, no it's not that bad but I'm gonna step step it in and then when I lay my panel on it it'll be on the step in then when we weld it it'll be pretty near flush we're hoping we're hoping stuff in there. It's not letting that work very good. Yesterday, doing the other side. What's that, sweetheart? Check your mic. Just trying to get there some goo inside there, stopping it from... doing the clamp thing right so just want to get it out of there awesome one side makes holes and I don't like the, I don't like the whole size it makes it one side makes a hole and the other side makes a flange I didn't like the whole side the whole side it doesn't give you enough enough meat and what I'm doing is you know you might not be able to see it but it is And flanging the metal. Ah, you son of that's what's going on right there, that stuff. That's what's pissing me off. That's what's pissing me off.
Now, back to this, digging this thing out. See, once you get some stuff up in there, I had a little orange screwdriver here this morning. It was on the floor, a little, little tiny thing. Right there. There it be. You got it. I get that stepped in, and the quicker I can get that stepped on, put on, get that square tubing put on the bottom. What has happened is undercoating has got into this, like the back side of this panel had undercoating on it. Our little tool's gotten messed up with it, and it stops it from doing its job. Hard to believe that much in there, but. Come on, man. Work. Take my gloves off. We're working now. You can see it crimping there. Can you see that little crimp? We're just above the line. That's where the panel is. Then we get to weld that together. That's crimped in. You'll see. And to butt weld something on like this, not at, not up my not at my alley. Nicer job this way. My in my eyes, you get a nicer back look on it. The back side looks better than this. There we go. Now we're on a rhythm. She got a rhythm! Yeah, good rhythm, eh? Also, that helps for warpage. Um, we got a nice rib on there, a nice bend on there. see a nice lip all the way there along there can you baby can you see it with your camera okay good okay good I'm gonna take and clean that up a little bit with my grinder watch yourself sweet here yep go Put our quarter panel back on. <laughs> Not much of one quarter panel, but it is, right? It's a quarter panel. It's the quarter panel. And also, when this goes on, this is what I'm thinking, like on that square tubing on the other side, as you see the square tubing on, where I'm going to cut it off at, the quarter panel. The right at the top of the door is where I'm going to cut that off, and I'm hoping that that top of the door comes right in to hit that. That's what I'm hoping. Here we go. Who's your daddy? That's why I put that screw up further. You see where I put the other screw? It uh, wouldn't have hit. No, there was no metal there. I didn't have up high enough. So you can see as I got that on there, as I put that flange on there, where there's where I'm welding from this from this crease. 
and that cre that's the spot there, crease to this metal, mm -hmm. and then I could flush, well, take all that weld off there, what's, and have a have a nice job. That that, that I could, and that I know. So I'm going to. Am I going to grab the welder and put that on now? Nope. I'm going to try here first. That's cool. Cool. Alrighty. Let's get the welder going, I guess. I'm going to come around this side because. Why not? These welders don't usually jump cords too well, but I asked it to nicely and it did. I did, I asked it to, please jump that cord. And it went over it, no problem. Uh, got a little bit of gas on. Turn that on. Need it. Helmet. It's been hot the last few days, eh? It's been hot. Now, I've got a third arm that I like to use doing this. now ah come on now <laughs> hope that touched still moves a little bit it's okay Nice. Not pushing on it hard at all, just pushing it into the metal. I don't want to distort anything, I just want it to fit tight. Tight and right, that's all I want, just to fit it tight. Gap down the door. And I like to push that down a little bit. Just like that. on very tight that's trying to push off so that's on going on there very tight that's good that's good yeah. not pushing very hard just 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 want to push the metal in so I can weld it so it's tight Tighten right, folks. And that can be gradually bent around there as we get going, like me do the thing there, but right at the present moment. That's out oh, maybe a little bit. That can be played with. I got a lip on this quarter panel. I, f I think I'm out here just a little bit on this, on this side. And what I'll do is I'll just, un it's all on here now. Uh, it'll keep it straight line. But on this piece, I can just take a little bit off that lip, cut it off, get a zip cut in there, cut a little bit off and then tap it in. And then it'll fit perfect. That's all that's gotta happen there. Just gotta do that. 
going to get my knee pads in place, plunk a couple more welds on, then we're going to bend some square tubing. Cool. What? We're at 45. Okay. What's that, sweetheart? Okay. See if we can't get it bent. Stuck on there. in there a little bit there. The drill's mad at me. Haven't been using it enough. Haven't been using it enough. Just gonna put a, you can see right there where it's out a little bit. No sense welding that until I put it in where it should be. And that's just basics. So as you see that on there, so you know, <laughs> you know basically what I can do, or you, you know basically I can grind that weld off if I fill that hole, fill that little spot there I've left myself with that plunker thing here with the, this bad boy, flanger. You could see how I could grind that all flush and how I could do such a fantastic job on that. Yes, I hope you can. Cut it all off. There's nothing underneath of it. Looks straight. Looks like the other side. Just want to touch this here. And it's good. Now we can pull the good. Take this off. This off. I'm gonna pull some stuff out of the way here. Just knock that off. So now we have a quarter panel. I, we sh well, I showed you what's on the other side, how we're going to do that. And I'm going to try to do it right now for you, just to show you how I did it. I have a piece of square tubing over here that I want to cut a little shorter because I have, I have a length. Last night I had to work with the, the full length. It was, it was harder because I didn't know the length. I could have measured with the tape. Yes, I could have, but I didn't want to cut too much of it off. So I was not... So I was not able to, to work it. Um, with, with a little bit of length, you're, allowed to, you're able to work the metal. You got a little bit of uh, leverage. Leverage. Alrighty. Move this out of the way. So when I, when, I, when I want to get my door open, I just cut that square tubing out of there at any time. Door comes open. But I want to cut it off first. I want to know the length. Take these glasses off. I'm seeing four <laughs> sometimes. I'm going to, I want to clean up this mess just a little bit over here because this is where I'm going to put it. Just a little bit. I know I don't clean up much, but I got two. reason I'm cleaning up a little bit, my line is right here. My line's right there, I need that. Good quarter panel for 3640, anybody need one? That's not true. I might have to, I might have to go outdoors. Probably. What doors if I have to? Better not do that. Oh. Alrighty. I'm gonna open.
open that door and go outside there for a little bit. Got to do what I got to do. Hallelujah. Look at that, would you? Get a marker. I know I'm running, but let's face it, I want to get it on. I want to get it on. All right, we've got a little good line going on there. I'm just going to bend it here a little bit more. Give it a little more and a good bend there. Ha ha, how's that? We'll go for that first. A little bit there, right? And then we want a good one right there. It's not bad. A little bit heavy on the on that one up there. I'm going to bend this one. All right. And the first one I did with going back to the car and getting it to fit. Then after that, I thought, well, I'll cheat and mark it down so I know for the second one. Hoping. All right. A little bit more. Not much more. I'm going to try to bend that first. Too much. Nope. Way too much. Come up here, pen this a little bit. close see what's going on here have I got that all bent up like that you know it's hard to do eh? it's all twisted up and you I haven't got no machine to bend that like that spend the time what I like to do this is what I like to do go right back to the basics I got a piece of wood <laughs> right back to the basics you know if you need something you want to build something go back to the basics it's always there it's always been there um, that's how everybody's done it years and years and years. I have this bent up like this. How do I get it out? Well, see where it slipped up on that end? If I look down that, ah, I hit my finger, that hurt. Hit my finger. I got a bowed out spot. I got a spot that's, you know, honed out of that piece of wood. If I hold it flat on this end and this end, when I hit this in the middle, we bend it down. And that's, <laughs> I don't know, pretty basic. Let's straighten her out. Let's make her happy. Let's make me happy. Yeah. Sometimes it's nice to have a couple people, but I'm showing you how you can do it. Because I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. 
I mean, you can do it. You straighten up my eye. Just look in my eye. I might have hit a little too much on that side. All right. We're getting too much here. All righty. Now see this. Then we got this to get out. Okay. And then after we get this out, we're going to have to try to do it again, see if it works, see if it... I'm having a hard time holding that and hitting that. But we're getting her! Don't hit Joey's Bugatti. Bad piece of tubing there, baby. Not a bad bent piece of tubing, that didn't. Ooh, that one went too far. I felt it. Felt it, felt it, felt it. I guess the main thing is try to have that metal hard down on the wood when you hit it so it don't rattle. Trying to straighten it out by eye best I can. A little bit right there. That looks pretty good and straight. Yeah, not bad. Take a look down that if you like. And you what it was before. Now I'm just looking down this end to see if you're straight. Nope. Got nice legs, Julian. It's true. That's true. Just slide a little bit. Yes, we can. Whew. All right. Mark, 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 and if you need a little more, a little more bend on her. What I got Just need more bend on her here, I guess. Two bends I want to make. I think I want to make one here. And the reason I'll tell you why I'm bending it where I'm bending it. It's on the line right there to there. It's on the line. There to there. Where it comes off the line is right here. And that's where I'm going to bend it. it. Comes off the line. If I bend it there, that should bring all that up to par. If I bend it here, that should bring that in par. That's what I'm thinking. Stinking.
I marked it with an X. Hopefully that works. Happy with that? Happy with that, I'm happy with that. A little more there. And a little more here. So here and then that one and then this time I'm going to put a circle around it so I know which one's the X gone crooked again I'm gonna to have to put it back up on that table but that's 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 the job it has to be at hand might be too springy Look at that, how quickly that takes off. <laughs> Out there just a little bit. Burn. Well, I'm gonna go with that, I think. Like, it's right on the line there, all the way down. Yep, we're gonna go with it. All the way down, see the line? Anyways, I'm gonna straighten it out, cause it's crooked, obviously. That don't look too bad. Just trying to straighten this out again.
Yeah, it's really important that the metal stays tight down on the wood. And the reason being is it bounces, then you're not getting a nice crunch on her. I think I have a little bit of just roundness up here. Just a little bit. You won't hit too hard. Going for it. Going for it. All right, I'm going to lay down here one more time. Ba ba ba. That makes me happy. What? Yep, go for it. There you can see the line all the way up through here. Woo, she's warm, boy. She's warm. All right, let's do this. I gotta take a. We'll stick this bad boy on. And how we stick this bad boy on is. Good job, Jolene. Jolene tippy toeing backwards. Huh? Tippy toeing backwards. Whew. All right. You can see, you can see where I spent. The hinges weren't working that good on the old car. I sprayed the old crown on her, man. She come right alive. The doors swing open like nothing. Well, I shouldn't say that. They swung open good day. I was tearing her apart, didn't they? Yeah. All righty. What I did is did a, I got a, right to that line, 14. Right to this line. Fourteen. This line. Fourteen. And we're going to come back. It might have come up on the other side just a little bit, but we're going to bring it back the same distance on the other side as we did this side. If it's up an eighth, down an eighth, don't matter, don't care. We're going to make the same both sides. So. As we have that on there, I know this is holding out a little bit. Basically, how about I just stick it on for now, tack it on like that. I'm still going to open that door and shave that in there and put that on there. Don't. Basically, this goes on here. Like so. It gives me my quarter panel shape, gives me my door shape, gives me all kinds of stuff. It makes the car, well then we'll be able to have a footprint and what the car is supposed to look like. I'm gonna cut that off in the front a little bit. Do I want to put that on now? Doesn't matter. Basically, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tack it up there. I gotta grind that little line there. I gotta cut the front of that off, I see. The front of that off. Ba -ba -ba. Let's have a pair of pliers here. And that's basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it to this side just like I did this side. We'll tack it up front at the 14 mark. I'll run it back here then I'll plunk it on there and then I'll run it straight back and I'll just take these and I'll clamp that piece of metal right to that square tubing. You see how I got it made there. I got the same thing going on here and I'm going to make it do the exact same thing as I did on that side. Have a good Friday everybody. I'm going to end it right there, and the reason because I'm going to get Jolene to help me put that on there. Um, I'm going to come up here and I'll cut, put this in, tack it on. Jolene can hold that in for me, and then we can do that together. Also, I can also I can open up the door and, and make this fit the best it can. I think that's got to go in just a little bit. Now what I'll do is take a zip cut and cut that line out a little bit, and then tap it in. And that's that. This right here with that square tubing, how I bent that is how I done this. When I, when I get that side done, then I got from around this corner, across the back, and maybe a new sheet of metal. Maybe I'll even get this stuff. Good deal. All right, everybody, have a good Friday. I'm having a good Friday. I enjoy working on this. And what can I say? Have a great day.